Hi there. I'm Dr. Noelle Nelson, and it's my pleasure to share a few thoughts with you today, some uplifting, inspiring, and practical tips to help you find greater happiness and success in your life. Today's topic, listen with your heart. Your friend is upset with you. I want to talk to you, she says. I'm really upset about how you rushed me through the mall the other day. And before your friend even finishes her sentence, you're apologizing. Yeah, yeah, I know, I'm sorry. I realized it wasn't a nice thing to do, but I was so worried about getting home to the kids. I mean, <laughs> what could I do? And you're on to the next thing. Later, your coworker asked you why you left a project unfinished. And you say, oh, well, I thought it would be better if I ran it by, you know, before going on with the revisions. Your coworker replies, well, you could have told me what you were up to. And immediately you say, I know, I know I should have, but I was overloaded and trying to do everything at once and I was doing the best I could. I'm sorry. And you're off and running. You don't understand later why your coworker is cool to you, nor why, in general, people seem less willing to hang out with you. You know you take responsibility for things you do which inconvenience or hurt people, so what's going on? Aren't apologies good enough? Do people just love to hold grudges? Well, the truth of it is, apologies aren't good enough. Apologies are only as good as the behavioral changes that follow them. And it's less that people love to hold grudges, more that people hold on to their hurt until it's been expressed fully and resolved or healed. Oh, great, you say. So when did I become shrink to the world? I have enough on my plate already. It's not about becoming shrink to the world. It's about giving people the space to express themselves enough and in a way that allows them to feel truly heard. You see, there is a world of difference between listening with your ears and listening with your heart in a way that makes the other pe person feel heard. We live in hurried times where so much emphasis is put on deadlines and schedules that too little time is accorded to the human need for expression. Yet, listening with your heart doesn't take much time, and it makes a tremendous difference in the quality of all of your relationships. So, how do you listen with your heart? First of all, don't start off by apologizing. Huh? You say, completely confused. I thought apologizing if you did something hurtful was the right thing to do. Oh, it is but it's not the right place to start. The right place to start is by listening. So, secondly, stop whatever you are doing and really listen to the person. Listen with your eyes as well as your ears. Look at the person as they are telling you how they feel about the way you hurt or inconvenience them. Don't fidget, answer your email, text, or file your nails. Give the person your complete and undivided attention. Next, resist the temptation to defend yourself. Oh boy, is this a hard one for most of us. You like to think of yourself as a good person, and when you've hurt someone, it's usually not deliberate. So there's a natural tendency to jump in with your explanations, excuses, defenses, and rationalizations. Resist, resist, resist. Instead, acknowledge what the person feels. By saying, for example, oh, it was really uncomfortable for you to be rushed like that, or oh, you felt ignored, like I wasn't paying attention to your needs, or it felt like I didn't value your opinion. These are all examples of acknowledging what a person says to you about their feelings. And be courageous enough to ask genuinely, is there anything else? Ouch, you say, that could really hurt. Well, certainly, if you haven't been truly listening to your friend for a long time, it could hurt. There may be piles and piles of resentful feelings built up. If, however, you listen to people as soon as something comes up, there won't be much else. And it is important that the person have the opportunity to really speak their piece. Now, apologize. Now is the time to apologize, graciously and honestly. You still, by the way, don't need to defend or justify. The apology is sufficient. Lastly, make amends or 
change your future behavior. An apology has no value unless it is backed up with action. Amends are often the most powerful way to apologize. Now this whole process can take less than five minutes, yet make the difference between a thriving relationship and a stultifying one. Give yourself the benefit of being who you truly are, one who listens with their heart, one who cares, one who hears. Thank you for listening to Up, and check out my new book, I Survived COVID-19, What Now? Finding Happiness and Success in a Post-COVID World. If you'd like more uplifting, inspiring, practical tips and techniques, as well as my website, noelnelson.com. Or take a look at my Meet the Amazings Facebook page. Until next time, be well and take care.